Meghan Markle, Prince Harry divorce rumors, Twitter users discuss betting odds. Twitter users are already discussing the odds of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry divorcing. Many have questioned the longevity of Prince Harry and Markle's marriage. Several predicted that their relationship is doomed. Just recently, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decided to step down and live away from the palace. However, many are still convinced that their marriage won't last. In fact, some Twitter users are just waiting for betting odds on their divorce. Las Vegas should be taking bets on how long this marriage will last. Sounds like Harry gives up everything and Meghan gets everything. That will be a doozy of a divorce. I think we see more and more every day why her family doesn't like her, one wrote. You don't get it watching the Harry and Meghan live train wreck is one of the most morbidly addictive shows in town take a seat and pass the popcorn darling. Are bookies taking divorce date bets yet? Another added. Harry and Meghan am willing to have a bet, 3-5 years, when these two would part ways, am being generous with that number, another wrote. If the Queen dies and Harry doesn't get to see her first, I will bet on divorce. I can see Meghan refusing to let Archie spend 50-50 time in England which will cause her to lose custody, another netizen stated. Meghan was the best thing and the worst thing to ever happen to Harry. Divorce by 2023. Placing my bet now, at Dane Hall 798 added. I love Harry and Meghan. I also have no doubt they will divorce. I would bet millions of dollars on it, at Neil McMahon wrote. In January, bookmakers from Patty Power said that the odds of Prince Harry and Markle divorcing in 2025 were at 3-1. Meanwhile, the chances of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reuniting with the royal family were at 14-1. Twitter users have been speculating that Prince Harry and Markle will eventually separate. Based on their prediction, the former Suits star will leave the royal broke. Silly Harry, when Meghan decides to divorce. What Harry seems to not understand, because of their children he will be ruined, all his money and their house will belong to Meghan. He will return broken England, to obtain a royal subsidy by the Queen, such as a spoiled rich kid, at six Tudor Queens wrote. I knew Prince Harry will live in regret for the rest of his life by following Meghan's wrong counsel. The next thing you will hear is she has divorced him because she's in the land of the free where everything is possible, at Yeshua Devu wrote. Meanwhile, Kate Jackson of The Sun said that the divorce could be imminent because of the Duchess's alleged two-year itch. Most of the major things in Markle's life didn't last three years or longer. Her first marriage with Trevor Ingelson only lasted for 23 months. Her active role in the royal family began on December 1, 2017 and ended on April 1 of this year. Meghan Markle wants Prince Harry to give up long-time hobby. Meghan Markle has put her foot down when it comes to how Prince Harry spends his spare time. The Duchess of Sussex is said to have banned her husband from hunting, a sport he and several members of the royal family enjoy. Speaking with the UK's Radio Times, friend of the Sussexes Dr Jane Goodall revealed Meghan holds considerable influence over Harry. When the publication indicated to the doctor that Harry and his brother Prince William are champions of the natural world, she interjected, yes except they hunt and shoot. However, his hunting days may already have come to an end, as he's known to have already given up going on one hunt for the sake of his marriage. It has been claimed that Prince Harry did not participate in the traditional Boxing Day royal family hunt two years ago as he did not want to upset Meghan Markle. The family usually shoot pheasants, partridges, and sometimes ducks on their 8,000 hectare estate in Norfolk. A source told The Sun at the time, Harry loves, hunting and has always been out there on Boxing Day. But if it means breaking with long-standing royal traditions to avoid upsetting, Meghan, so be it. It's fair to say that there are some pretty stunned faces around here," they added. The close friend and confidant of Prince Harry also claimed that the prince is finding his new life away from Buckingham Palace a little bit challenging. According to U.S. Weekly, English primatologist and anthropologist Dr. Jane Goodall told the Radio Times she anticipates there will be a big adjustment for Harry moving forward. I don't know how his career is going to map out, but yes, I've been in touch, though I think he's finding life a bit challenging just now, 
Jane claimed to the British publication. The 86-year-old believes that, as a result of Meghan Markle's influence, Harry will also most likely put his hunting and shooting days behind him. She claimed Harry will stop because Meghan doesn't like hunting, so I suspect that is over for him. Harry and Meghan, who officially stepped down as senior members of the British royal family on March 31st, have reportedly now settled down in Malibu, Los Angeles. Jane's royal confession comes after it was reported Harry has been feeling guilty about being away from his family at a time when they need him the most. According to U.S. Weekly, a source close to the prince recently said, despite their ups and downs, hearing that his dad is sick with a potentially life-threatening illness is a huge wake-up call. And he's overwhelmed with feelings of guilt for not being closer to home while this is all going on. What's more, the National Enquirer claimed that Charles allegedly told Harry, you must come home. But as the insider claimed to the American publication, the future King of England reportedly told his son he wasn't taking no for an answer. That said, Harry apparently refused to head back to the United Kingdom, with the Duke of Sussex allegedly telling his father his presence was needed by his wife Meghan's side. Not accepting no for an answer, Charles reportedly ordered Harry to come home and sent in Raff to collect him. Harry is said to have relented, but rumor has it Meghan supposedly threw a hissy fit. Why Buckingham Palace staff can't stand Meghan Markle? Meghan Markle clashed with Buckingham Palace staff because the royal aides didn't approve of her Hollywood past. According to royal expert Camilla Tomini, Meghan's demands and lack of respect for the royal hierarchy did not go down well at the palace. Speaking to The New Yorker, she suggested palace staff were less enamored of the very qualities that made her irresistible to the press, her showbiz luster, self-confidence, and feminist habits of assertion. Camilla said that there was a clash of cultures between the Duchess of Sussex, who used to be an actress and starred in legal drama suits before marrying Prince Harry, and royal staff, because she didn't understand the many unwritten traditions within the institution. It's a bit like Downton Abbey, there's a hierarchy of staff who have been at Buckingham Palace for years and years, to serve Queen and country. And, therefore, for Harry and Meghan to be making demands, there was a bit of below-stairs chatter, particularly with the Duchess, that was, well, hang on a minute, who do you think you are? She said. The details come after Meghan Markle was warned against selling her story after she was reportedly offered $2 million for a tell-all interview about her life as a royal. After rumors swirled that Meghan might reveal what royal life is really like in an interview similar to Princess Diana's infamous talk with Martin Bashir in 1995, fans were quick to warn her against making the same mistake as her late mother-in-law. If her objective is to earn money, it could work. But if she's trying to win back the public, it's extremely risky," one fan tweeted. Another added, if she does the tell-all it really doesn't set the best example. Everyone will believe she really did marry Harry for money and publicity. Another Twitter user said, not a good idea. It's backfired on so many royals when they tried to tell their side, most recently Andrew of course but Charles and Diana also. Meghan should be cautious of burning her bridges, as her mother-in-law Princess Diana did with her infamous 1995 interview. According to royal author Penny Jr., the controversial interview made Queen Elizabeth II lose her patience with the late Princess of Wales. Penny Jr. said, that's where she was wrong. Things were by no means all right. The Queen finally lost her patience. This public mudslinging wasn't just harming the monarchy. It was damaging for the young princess.